Portland man is behind bars tonight after a chase and then an officer involved shooting. Fox 12's Kendra Kent joins us live where all of this ended with that shootout in Oregon City. Kendra? Yeah, that's right, Wayne, and we do have new details at this hour. Today, investigators did identify that suspect. They also said that he started shooting at deputies, prompting law enforcement to fire back at him, and that's when a Clockamas County Sheriff's de deputy did hit him in the shoulder with gunfire. This is the suspect, 48-year-old Gerald Leroy Barnes II. The Clackamas County Sheriff's Office says Barnes briefly went to the hospital but was released shortly after and then taken to jail. Investigators say the encounter started about 645 last night when a deputy attempted to pull Barnes over on Highway 213 in Oregon City. Oregon City police then joined in using spike strips on Highway 213 near Redland Road, according to the police department. Now, officers say Barnes drove over the spike strips, but an Oregon City police officer was hurt in the process when Barnes drove by him and something hit his eye. That police officer went to the hospital where he had surgery and was released this morning. Morning. Meanwhile, at some point, deputies say Barnes started firing a gun at them, and a deputy returning fire struck Barnes once in the shoulder. No deputies were hurt in the shooting, and they arrested Barnes shortly after near the I-205 on-ramp from Highway 213. Barnes has now been charged with attempted aggravated murder, attempted assault, unlawful use of a weapon, and attempting to elude. Barnes was convicted of unlawful possession of a firearm back in 2004. Now, we did ask investigators why deputies attempted to pull Barnes over in the first place and what may have led up to that chase, but we have not heard back on that yet. And the sheriff's office says that the investigation does still continue and it's now being led by Milwaukee Police, Oregon City Police and the Canby Police Department as well. Reporting live tonight in Oregon City, Kendra Kent, Fox 12, Oregon.